We're sitting here in the Wyoming Big Sagebrush plant community. It's the largest plant community in the Great Basin. It's been devastated by cheatgrass and wildfires. So our research is to focus on decreasing the cheatgrass densities and increasing the long live perennial grasses. I'm a rangeland scientist here in Reno, Nevada, the Great Basin Rangeland Research Unit. I've been here since 1988. Cheatgrass was accidentally introduced to North America from Eurasia in the early 1860s. Cheatgrass germinates at a wide range of temperatures and it germinates early, so it outcompetes our native perennial species. What it also does is it increases the chance, the rate, and the spread and the season of wildfire because it has a fine textured fuel on the landscape. The process here is to go into a cheatgrass infested rangeland, use a tool like pre emergent herbicides to decrease the cheatgrass density to decrease that competition with the species that we want in that site. What we've learned with selective pre emergent herbicides, we've been able to decrease the cheatgrass densities by over 93% at the same time, through the seeding of the long line perennial grasses, increased the herbaceous component by over 600%. By doing that, we can increase the desirable species on a site, we can improve the grazing practices, we can improve the sustainability of grazing practices, more importantly, we can improve critical wildlife habitat. The reason we use the herbicide, because as little as four cheatgrass plants per square foot outcompete the seedlings of our perennial species. So we have to go in, we have to de do that with a herbicide or a mechanical. This project here, we're looking at herbicides. A lot less devastating on the soils. It opens that window for seeding. And then once our seeded species emerge, they have less competition, they survive, and then they suppress the cheatgrass. Our stakeholders are the backbone of this unit. The livestock industry and the wildlife organizations, they all participate by telling us what issues they're dealing with, what their problems are, and then we can tackle them together. We learn as we go along. Historically, wildfires in this community would be about every 60 to 110 years. The introduction of cheatgrass has increased that to every five to 10 years. So by coming in and reseeding these sites, controlling that cheatgrass fuel load and decreasing it, we're actually letting succession take place and going back to a more of a natural state.